All right, so today you're going to learn how to program a DMS controller because today you're going to learn the basics and how to program moving head to any type of lighting. It's a real cool video because really, I just this thing doesn't make sense at all. It does make sense, but it's a little crazy. You get to read like 100 times and program what it means, 192, what is channel, what are scenes. In this video, you will understand everything and watch until the end because it has a lot of cool information. I'm going to show you how the DMS works. We're going to be testing this with the light and also we're going to be doing some you know, basic programming. I want to go over a few things here. We looked at controller and one side it says 512 and the other side it says 192. Why is that? I was thinking in the beginning, why it says 192? What that means? You may ask yourself what that means. All right. What do you mean scanner? So uh, scanners are devices, light fixture. So this is scanner one and this is scanner two. Smoke machine is scanner three. Job light four and RGB six or whatever, so on up to what? Oh, total of 12. So we can control 12 independent lighting, right? Or any device, any DMX device up to 12. Can we utilize one or two on the same mitra? Sure, you can put 10 if you want in one device. So if you look in that for a second, and this one. So we see this one is address one, and my next one is address seventeen. And you're thinking, well, why that real? The next one is seventeen. Shouldn't I be two? No, I'll show you why. Very important. Okay, that's a rookie mistake. One, then the next one two, the next one three, and then we have a problem, and all the channels are mixed. If we look in this way, so we have a total of sixteen scenes, page A and page B. Scenes are what? Well, scenes are channels. So if we have this scanner one, I'm gonna I'm gonna utilize it one to sixteen, and that is my light. The next one is what? It's gonna be seventeen, right? To thirty-two. So my next icon is to be thirty-three to forty-eight. So always a black at sixteen. So if you multiply twelve times a sixteen, you get a total of one ninety-two. So you can control up to one hundred ninety-two in that case with this type of controller. Oh, we're controlling many lights. Imagine just on 12 flights, I can go to independent and I can mix all in out. I can put three on channel 12 or whatever you decide to connect. So I think we got cleared up to now. It's very important that you understand that section. So now my first light is one. If you see that in the picture, I trust one. The next one needs to be, I trust one is here. 17, I'm sorry. And this one is one. All right. So again, and we repeat that way. So now that they're independent. So if I go to a scanner one here, and let's see if I can, uh, and we're going to look that in a second there, I'm going to control scanner one. So if I do a scanner one, and I'm going to control one of the UFMX channel, I can change whatever effect, or I can change the lighting, or I can do whatever I want. Now I'm going to go and control scanner two, so fixture number two, same thing. I'm going to use that because number six is the one that controls the globes on these type of devices. And you see that. Now, what that means does 16. So I can control any device as long as there are less than 16 channels. Now, the moving head, 11 channels. I would think like a regular RGB light, but you have half a dozen. Right, control every RGB light. Then the man, the mouse, another channel. It's, it's job of flaking should be another channel. So maybe you have a five or six. Maybe a smoke machine is uh, two channels. I would think one maybe on and off in the other one, the intensity of how much smokes you want to throw it out through the smoke machine. So out of that, you're going to realize only two out of the 16. I think we are super clear now if we can understand how the light works. Now, again, so that can control here, it's been say, A216, and the channels here. If we're looking right over here, we change pages up and down. Now, here is your, uh, where you're going to program the banks. So how many banks do things have? So it has a total of 23 banks. So 23 banks in each bank, I can only save eight scenes, not 16, eight, eight scenes I can save in one bank. So you have total of eight times 20, 23. So in each, in each bank, I can control the lights here. Now we're looking right over here. I can switch banks. I pre-program banks. So if I go here and have any, any, these slides will go in change through whatever bank I, I didn't set up any bank yet but it will go over and if you see here price goes one two 
whatever it is you're right and it's going to go all the way so 23 so you can see that 23 on one all right so it will be then two one and so on we got program to it to delete music this thing has a microphone inside, so it will go with the beep of the music. And if you feel like it's not going to the beep, you tap it here and eventually come automatically synchronized. Then we have a total of six chases. So chases out programs that you can add. So you can add scenes into a chase. So how many chases I can set up? 240 for each chase. So one, one program will be, okay, light this up. Second one, it becomes red. Next one becomes blue. And you can draw on and do all that into up to 240 times. Then when you hit chase, and then you hit auto, then now the light's gonna do all the 200 different moves or the sign to you the colors or can be, you know, changing the sign, moving up and down the stop, left and right. And you can do that up to six times. So you got 240, 240 times the six times for each independent. Now this, one chase can control many lights, can control total or 12 independent heads or 100, they are all, all about the same address. So you can do all that, mix it up. I think that we got super clear up to now. Now let's understand that we can also do blackout and the light goes back over there. So that goes to the on position or if you should point it up to the front, that's the front and that's the back. So to program, pretty simple, you're gonna have program you hold it there, program, it's blinking right there. So now I need to add a programming or something like that. I control the two lights. I'm going to leave it, that will be one. So I'm going to go and press MIDI add one. All right. So now that I'm going to go and just move that into the side or, or up. Let's bring that one up a little bit. And then, right, I'm going to hit add two blinks right there then i'm gonna go and let's bring this one up just a simple or change just change the, the figure there let's put it that way and i'm gonna add three done finish the program hit program automatic blackout very important okay automatic blackout let's take the blackout let's press number one let's press number two Let's press number three. You see that? And sure, we can go and press these all around, and these are pre-programmed. We can, same basics, we can control independent light. What I did here, I just pair the light, pair both lights inside. We can do independence, and you can do the program that way. All right, so now understand banks. So total of 23 banks we have right here. Now, in each bank, we can save up to eight scenes. Now, 16, eight scenes. So here we look, and one, one. So it's bank one, effect one, or scene one. So one, two, we're still in bank one, right? Effect two, or scene three. Now, in this case, we did that, so it's still bank one, and three. And so on, I can uh, keep going that way, and so I can go up to 23 banks, okay? right there. 23 banks. All right, this one, and again, now this is another bank, let's just move out, that's something else I saved it there. So what I need to go, I need to go back into the original one, there was one, to be able to control the lights again. So let's go all the way down. All right, so what I did is that, went back to bank one, all right, and that's the first scene, second scene and third scene. Remember, we have a total of 23 banks, and we can save eight. In this section, we're gonna program check. Very important, you need to pay attention to this out now. So we're gonna go program, all right, so now the program is blinking. You already did some scenes, all right, remember my first three. All right, so I'm gonna hit chase one. So it's one, and remember we have a total of six and 240 different chase we can set up. We're gonna do three today. All right, so now we're gonna hit mid edit or add blinks. We're gonna have one. Remember, I already did one. Then I'm gonna click add two click add and then three and finally and we can so on to 240. now they're going to hit program once again and it's blackout all right 
So now you want to run the chase, and you just hit one, chase one, and auto. And nothing happened. Dog is dead. Why is it not working? So it feels like the whole thing. Let's take black out first. Very important. That's why you think it's dead. But you hit here and you move it around. And I hit chase, auto, delete. And it's not doing anything. Why? Because you need to select the time. Very important. Because you just program this. Is okay. Why? I'm still running manually. And when I hit chase, it's nothing happened. So now with this, we can control the speed. And this is a fade time. So if you have a red and blue light, you can make it change it real fast, or we can fade in every day, in and out. So it depends on the fade. So if you see right now, it seems not working. So what you got to do is just slide this up. So I'm going to slide this up. Going to hit chase. All right, and I need to go all the way up, and it will start moving. So let's get chase in auto. And should start moving a second. You see right there, I have to play around with the time. So sometimes you need to re you need to reset it. Go all the way up and down. So let's give it more speed. All right. You see that? So now we got it. Huh? Exactly what we programmed. Let's switch the screen. And we can see now the program is running. You see three banks right there. All right. And you see exactly. So with this, you can control. You can control here the timing. And this. How you want to see it slow down a little bit because control the fade time as well too. So it depends on the light, the light you want to do effects. Now very important, when you want to go over to this, because you did a chase, you save it up and nothing happened and you just go crazy. It happened to me why? And I just go and reprogram again and go back and reprogram again. Chase will not execute it until you move this up. Now if I turn the system off and I turn it back on, it will automatically go back on the same. It will go back into that mode and you say, hold on, I want to program scenes and this thing is still, let me turn it off and I just turn it on and automatically it should go back to the chase. So it goes back and still doing what I just did before, my chase program. And you says, hold on, I want to manually control. Well, you need to bring your speed to zero. So if I bring these two things down to zero, now I can control my chase the way I want it. One light, two lights, or whatever. I I program the key. I I double up the program. So that, as you see, it's pretty simple. The very important to this is to try to understand how the whole thing works. Once you understand this, then by right, programming, you know, becomes uh, super simple. All right, guys. As you see, pretty simple. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of my super tutorial how to program this what i'm going to do right right in my uh, description of this video i'm going to leave you the control i'm using the lights i'm using and also the remote the max i will too so i'm going to bring a video of these particular lights and also how the dmx control or the remote or dmx works so make sure you follow because i'm going to come up with those videos real soon and i'll see you next time i'm dario and this is mediabox cnt bye